first an honor to have him here you know head of the grid and uh, as you could see the name itself of the grid is working on the same concept what he is talking actually so on the same concept of renewable energies you know saving the environment and the earth i mean i'm a strong strong believer of the democracy rather so i would really agree what he is saying actually so big supporter of it. so what is your uh, view about the nightlife in mumbai you have been visiting all over the place and my my view of mumbai yeah, is nightlife. oh yeah this is a club actually well I, well i tell you what the nightlife seems yeah. to be great <laughs> i've i've met a lot of people here and everybody has been so nice and gracious and kind including the owners of this club uh that have let us come in this evening uh truly a, a beautiful people here in india and mumbai and uh an honor to be here uh, satish what have you to say satish like uh, you are but uh, rogan you have ंग <laughs> I do believe that it is because of global warming. In fact, if you look at the storms just 20 years ago, let's take Hurricane Andrew for instance. And I and I made this statement just a few weeks ago. Hurricane Andrew did uh, a lot of a lot of damage to South Florida 20 years ago. But if you look at Hurricane Harvey and Hurricane Irma, they were at least 10 times the size and 10 times the strength We've got a problem, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to comes to global warming. If you take a hundred scientists and you ask them about global warming, 99 of them, possibly a hundred of them, are going to tell you it's real. Now, if they're telling you it's real, and I'm not a scientist, I'm going to listen to the scientist. It's about like if you go to a doctor. If you go to a doctor, and he says you've got You've got problems. You need to quit smoking or you're going to die from a heart attack. You say, "Well, I don't appreciate that." So I'm going to go on and I'm going to find another doctor that'll tell me something different. And you go through 100 doctors and 99 of them tell you that you need to quit smoking. But you get to that last doctor and he says, "Oh, go ahead and smoke." Well, you go ahead and smoke and you die. You need to listen to the vast majority of the scientists that are out here, and they're all saying that global warming is real. and if we don't make some changes and make them now there is not going to be an environment like we have just 20 years from now we've got to save this planet there is no planet b that we can go to yeah my my last question like uh, bollywood and hollywood as you can see like the american is also very fond of movie the indian uh, how do you see because bollywood is also will the bridge between two countries right Uh, any Bollywood actor you know, or if you've seen any film, or how you going to establish yourself? You know Bollywood also. There's a lot of Bollywood channels. Satish. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I will say this. Uh, uh, I am I am a, a big fan of anyone that that wants to get in front of the the screen, and I'm looking forward to to meeting the people from Bollywood. Uh, I'm just now being introduced to that. but uh, of course hollywood over in in los angeles california uh, i've had the opportunity to meet some people there as well so uh, i'm really excited about this opportunity in the few thing which indian culture have impressed you yeah. well uh the jain the jain community has really impressed me especially uh guru ji um he he lives a very simple life but he lives a very dedicated life with what he's doing that's been that's been uh most memorable for me on this on this trip thank you sir thank you thank you all the way you said hi is this is the page what is it true the true meaning for democracy and 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 a lot of people democracy is not easy it's really not what is the true meaning like democracy means they say that you know it's a it's a rule of people right it is the the root is the people and everybody has a voice 
And the neat thing about a democracy is a lot of times we don't agree. But as, lo as long as we can agree to disagree. So can we have something, a new platform where everyone is uh, agreeing or disagreeing and then we create a new rules for everybody, something like well, that? Well, I, I think that because what... it's a digital age problem. Well, what, what, I think, what I think is this. The, the best ideas usually get, get to come to the, to the top, to the forefront. Um, and not only that, those that stick with it long enough, and that's in anything in life. You see, when I started my campaign on November the 21st, 2011, which was almost six years ago, it was just God and me when I started it. People thought I was crazy. People laughed. Uh, people uh, actually got upset with me for doing it. Then they got silent and they started listening to me. And now, those that were silent, those that were mad, have jumped on board with this campaign because they realize just how serious we are about it and how serious the people of the world are taking this, the people of the United States are taking this. So if you stick with it long enough, whatever your platform is, they're going to come to you if you're, if you're on track with it and if you're passionate about it, which I am. So I have one last question. Sure. America is a victim of gun culture as well. Yes. Recently we saw more than people there. Yeah. So, if you come in power, will you take steps to curb it? We the gun culture. Yeah. We we just we just eight days ago had uh, a massive uh, shooting in Las Vegas, Nevada, where 58 innocent people lost their lives because of one coward. I will not even use his name. He was a coward. I will say this. When I become President of the United States, I want to uphold the Constitution and make sure that every decision I make is for the betterment of the people of the United States. That gets really tricky sometimes, especially with the Second Amendment, because the Second Amendment gives every citizen, United States citizen, the right to bear arms. I will say this, I believe that every law-abiding, mentally competent American citizen has the right to bear arms. but. Uh, there's got to be some checks and balances on that. Uh, the, the apparatus that this, this uh, coward used to change those weapons into automatic type weapons should be illegal and it should not take place. And as president, I'm going to make sure and I'm going to push for legislation to make sure that doesn't happen again. I've also got a plan. Uh, you probably remember back in 2012, Sandy Hook Elementary School where the young children, there was 21 uh, children that lost their, lost their lives. I actually came up with a plan. And the reason I came up with this plan is because I was an educator myself for 20 years. The plan is called Vets for Kids, and we can take care of a couple of problems in the United States by following this plan. This plan will protect every child in every school across this country so that parents no longer have to worry about uh, a psychopath coming in and using a gun in a, in a classroom. We can protect those children by taking our unemployed veterans, put them through a screening process and a training process, and get the right ones, put them back to work in every school across this country as guardians for our children. But we're going to send us a clear message to these psychopaths that are out there that schools and churches, uh, social events are going to be off limits. They're going to be off limits to these psychopaths. Thank you. 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 Thank you.